Okay, we are in the studio of Rebecca Haynes, which is in a hidden part of a road down Santa Fe. And the Santa Fe Studios, is this, is this part it's of it? It used to be called Montano Street Studios because it's Montano, and I think they must have just changed the name. Oh, okay. In the last month or two, I noticed that, but yeah. And this is a live workspace, but we're not going to show you where she lives, but we're going to show you her studio, which is absolutely matches her personality. Um, work in progress? Work, work in done. progress, not um, done. Okay. Work what, in what progress. Um, so I, last week, I think last Wednesday, a friend and I went to Pohaki to the buffalo, to the dances. Okay. Um, it was the day before the full moon, so the moon was almost full. Um, and it was, oh, it was just magical. And there were all these fires in the moon and then the dancers came up. And, um, and of course, you know, out of reverence, we can't take photos of those things. So I have all the images in my mind. Okay. So I thought when I was there, it's time for a buffalo. Yeah. Um, so how, when you attack a piece like this, do you go in drawing it first, add the color, or what, what's kind of your process? So there? I have, so my computer here is here, um, I have lots of photos on there of okay. animals in different um, poses and different arrangements and stuff, and so I just start scribbling. Um, years ago I used to plan everything out, like a lot of years ago, and they just, all of my wonderful little um, planning sketches had the fresh energy and the fresh marks and then when I tried to transfer them big it just I lost some of that and okay. so now I don't really have a plan I just kind of pick which animal and then I pick kind of where the where it might be and I just start scribbling well you definitely have a very distinctive style here going on here look at some of the other pieces here these are completed pieces right these are um, Mostly, maybe not a hundred percent. Not until they are shipped off to a gallery, and then I know that they're completed. But how do you decide what animal you're going to do? Um, well, it's very practical, actually. Sometimes I have dreams about animals, and so then I will want it. And, and like when I went to the buffalo dance, it was like I haven't done a buffalo for a while. However, um, I make a living at this, yeah. gratefully to the universe, and so I will look at my galleries and see what they need. Okay. Um, you know, so that so that there's a. a selection um, for people to choose from a si of size and animal. And where are your galleries now? Um, so my new gallery in Santa Fe is Jacoby Fritz, owned by the wonderful Deborah Fritz. Nice. Um, and they've been doing, I've only been there a month because my old gallery owner, Alita, uh, retired. And so I was fortunate to, to be taken on with Deborah. And then, so I have that gallery here, and then I have one called Rare uh, Gallery of Art in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Oh, okay. So that's where some of these are going. And you market them. your work primarily through galleries? Is that I do. Okay. I do. And, and um, I, I will sometimes sell things direct if I know the people well or if they've never been to one of my galleries. Okay. Um, but I respect and am very grateful that galleries um, will, will represent me so well and I've worked in galleries and so I, I want to go through them oh, okay. um, so that it works for everybody. <laughs> and what, 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 this is oil stick or what? It is, so they're oil sticks that I get at Artisan. <laughs> Yay! <Woo! laughs> um, no, and so they're Shiva, it's Shiva brand. Um, okay. And so it's actually, it's not a pastel, some people think they're pastels, but they're actually oil paint that's in a stick form. And I'm a drawer, um, I prefer to draw that rather than use a paintbrush, and so these allow me to scribble and scribble and then I can smear um, and do what I want, but it's, Permanent oil paint. Like, yeah, people don't realize that oil sticks are real oil They're paint. real oil They're paint, in a yeah. stick form. They actually form a skin over them. Right. So th this is, none of this is painted. This is all drawn in with the oil stick? Yeah, the only thing is the gesso the, um, wow, okay. on the back. But yeah, all of it's oil stick. And then I do also use um, China markers for like the little thin lines, just like a grease pencil. Um, so, so, so these really thin little black oh, lines okay. are, are China markers. What about this piece? What so this piece is a commission um, for some of my best friends that live in California who um, have had some bad luck with, with fires uh, in the last few years. And yeah. so I'm replenishing pieces they had from 15, 20 years ago. And so they wanted an egret in a few different poses. Um, and so it's, it's not quite as odd and um, it's a little different than what I usually do. But the mark making is... Is there. And you used to be in the gallery business, right? You were a gallery director? I was. Director I was a gallery director for about 17 years um, in Colorado, in California, and then here um, in Santa Fe for Tom Ross Gallery before he retired. Okay. And so it's very helpful to know both sides of the business um, because um, both gallery owners and artists are very quirky, odd individuals. 
And so I appreciate what they're going through now as yeah. an artist, and it helps me, I think, um, it helps me to work with them better oh. to know the other side. Pretty much full time, you're a full time artist. I so, am. You, what what precipitated you jumping off from? Um, I think what it was, you know, I was Tom Ross's gallery director when I moved here for maybe two or th maybe three years, I can't remember. And he also uh, carried my work. And then when Alita bought the building, okay, um, I probably could have stayed on as as a as a um, gallerist, but um, I'd had I'd been doing pretty well sales wise. Uh -huh. And I thought, you know, there's a new owner, um, it's going to be hard, I'm going to have less authority, and so it's better for them, and it's better for me if I'm not here, yeah. and why not take a chance? And so I did, and it's been very good. And it's all working out for it's you. It's all working out for me. My, <laughs> it, it, my body is deteriorating as I'm doing this more and more. Um, but no, it is. I'm, I'm blessed. I just can't believe I get to do this for a living. So well, that's I'm a wonderful grateful. attitude. It, gratitude I, yeah. is everything. It is. So. It is. No, I, I'm very happy. And you're our January Artist of the Month. So, so we're ending this year. How has this year been for you? This year has been full of all manner of... Um, of of adventures I guess it's been wonderful with the gallery um, it was stunning when Alita was going to close and so that was a big transition um, I got to go to Prague in Croatia so wow. I got to take a trip um, I have a wonderful wonderful um, family of artist friends that live here that uh -huh. we all support each other um, so I'm, I'm it's been a great year it's been a wonderful year is there anybody that comes to mind as an influence in your art if you were to say who has influenced you? Is you mean artists? Um, artists, yeah. You know, it's it's a couple people. There's been a lot, but the the two that probably the most are Leonardo da Vinci, um, because I'm a drawer and I just his stuff I think could be contemporary now. Okay. Um, some of it and Rick Barto and I was lucky enough to meet Rick Barto um, the year before he passed um, at Chiaroscuro here, and. Uh, I think our work comes from a similar place, yeah. and because we both, you, we both, he, he unfortunately is not with us anymore. But because we both were drawers, um, as well as painters, it's the mark making is similar. Oh, okay. Um, and and so yeah, those would be the two that I would cite. Nice. Well, thank you, Rebecca, so much thank for you, opening Ryan. up your studio Absolutely. and and all that you do for artisans. So I appreciate it. Okay. Here's a piece that we found in your living room. And you said you, you made this. this yeah, sculptural. so I made this one Christmas when I lived in Berkeley. Um, I worked at a gallery, and one of our clients brought in a deer skull that he had found. And I'm a deer, and so he gave it to me. And then it's on a lamp stand that I found at a thrift store out there. And on the base of the lamp stand, it has the four directions north, south, east, and west. Um, this shirt was my Grandpa Schreiner shirt, my mom's dad, um, that I would paint in. And then there's a towel under here that's a big Mickey Mouse towel that I had when I was 12 that I would paint and, and wipe my hands on. And one of my baby shoes is here. Um, so it's just kind of a dear totem strong um, friend that lives with me. Well, I can see how this sculptural piece kind of matches your artwork too. It's, totally, yeah. they're related. Yeah.